This is problem 20 of the QHack 2023 quantum coding challenges. And this one is entitled Cascader. Now in this problem, what we're given is some input state and here it's called guard. That's just a label used for that state. That is some superposition of some states in the computational basis X with some associated probability amplitude G sub X. And we're being told that in this superposition, one of the elements is going to be the state 11001, and we are to find the probability associated with that state here labeled G sub C. And we're being told that to do this, we need to use this noisy Toffoli gates, and, and there, the code to implement the Toffoli gates is given to us. So um, if this is not clear, um, what, what we mean by, by this state of G sub X of X terms uh, is, for example, you know, the state uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 with probability amplitude G sub 0 or the state 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 with some other probability amplitude. And then in this superposition, uh, there's always this element uh, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And we are to find this. Uh, the norm square of G sub C square, which is just a probability of finding that state. And by using this noisy Toffoli gates, what we mean is that um, we need to use the following circuit, right? So, so if, we, if we have here uh, the first five qubits represent this state guard, well, what is going to activate this Toffoli gates? Well, if this qubit is one and this qubit is one, then this right here turns into one. Then if this one's one, and because this one is already one, this turns into one, right? And, and we can keep going on with all the controls, right? So what, what we end up noticing is that when this state guard is equal to the one, 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 one state, then all the Stofoli gates turn on, and then this last qubit becomes one. And then this will give us the probability of the old one state, right, here at the output. But what we want is to find the probability of not the old one state, but the one, one, zero, zero, one state. So what do we need to do to, to do that? Well, that means that for these two qubits, we need to be able to activate these Toffoli gates when, when those are zero. So all we need to do in that case is for qubit two, add an X gate here, and for qubit three, add another X gate here. So if we add this two X gates, um, and then this Toffoli gates, this they call it a cascade of Toffoli gates, which the code for is already given to us, then by measuring this last qubit, we, we can find the probability amplitude of this particular state. Now, the other thing is that this X gates that we need to use here, we're also told that they need to be these noisy gates and uh, the code is given to us to, to implement them. So let's go ahead and um, code that up in penny lane. So as always, import penny lane and import numpy. Then this is the function that is given to us to implement the noisy X gates. So it's basically just an X gate with some depolarizing noise. And then this is also some code that is given to us to implement the cascade of Toffoli gates. So it just takes us an input, uh, the, the wires where we're going to add the controls and the wires where we're going to um, have the target qubits for each of the Toffoli gates. And then it just adds some Toffolis with, with uh, some associated noise with them. So now let's code up the circuit that we're being asked to, to implement. So first let's define this function cascader that's going to take as an input the guard state and then lambda for the noise of the Toffoli and the poly X gates. And then we define our device as always. And like in last problem, we're going to use this default mixed simulator. And we need five qubits for the guard state plus four auxiliary qubits. And here in our circuit, we just need to use the qubit state vector to initialize the guard state. 
and that's gonna be on the first five qubits. And then as we showed in this diagram, we need to apply this noisy X gates on qubits two and three. And we're gonna do that with this noisy poly X function that is given to us. And then we're just gonna call this uh, to fully cascade function. And then we're gonna pass the first five qubits as the control and then the last four qubits as the target. And then this parameter used for the depolarizing noise. And then if we want to uncompute these qubits, uh, we just reapply those X gates. Uh, we don't have to do this in this problem, but I always like to, to perform that. And then we return the probability of just the last qubit, right? And then in, in this overall function, we're just going to return what the circuit uh, gives us, which is this probability vector, but we only need to measure the probability of measuring the one state, right? Uh, so, so this will return an array with the probability of measuring zero and the probability of measuring one. And all we need is the probability of measuring one. So we're just gonna take the last element of that array. And then if we call this cascade our function and we pass this input, it's a long string that is given to us with a depolarizing noise of just zero, we get this output of one, roughly one. And if we come back here and we look at uh, for that input that we just passed to it, the expected output is supposed to be one, which is it's exactly what we get here. So we know we have implemented our circuit correctly. So that's it. And as always, just let me know if you have any questions.